Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Goofo Gaming back again with another video. And today, this video was highly requested by you guys, man. You guys wanted the second part to the coin making method and how to make coins through live events and sets, alright? So, yesterday I released a video of my money sniping filter and a basic tutorial on how to snipe. So, make sure you guys go watch that. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below so you can click that right there. Guys, make sure you guys go check out magicmutt.com. Use my code GOOF for 15% off all your orders. By far the cheapest, fast, uh, uh, fastest, and most reliable coin servers on the web. All right, but we're going to get into this video right now. All right, so now we are on the uh, home screen, and now we're on the live events. All right, this is how you're going to make coins off of live events. The key is to play every single live event. All right, so we're going to play the practice squad right now. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, talk through. I actually only have 40 seconds left on this practice squad live event. But I'm going to talk through some things that is, is kind of key this year. Oh, snap. We need two completions. All right, we're just going to lob that up. That's going to be a completion. Let him tackle us. But usually, guys, this year they release two of the same live events. Now, I really don't know why they're doing this. But it's actually kind of beneficial for us because you get the bonus, the first win pack or, like, whatever the live event is. Let's say it was... Um, Let's say it was a Madden Mint where you get a quick sell and you get a bonus quick sell pack. They release two Madden Mints and then you can do both and you get both of them for a bonus one. Then you can keep playing one, one of them. doesn't really matter. So you guys got to take advantage of that and you guys got to always look at what the rewards are. So now we got a silver player. That wasn't that bad there. So always complete your legacy. You never know what you can pull out of that. I completed my legend set today. Uh, Cardinals news, all this, man. Complete all of this because it always gives you, you know, see 20 XP. You know, that's not that bad. Uh, and plus, leveling up will always help because you can get pro packs and you can get a lot of uh, matted cash as well. So make sure you guys do that. See how there's a second practice squad, or actually the other one just expired and they just released a new one. So make sure you're always playing every single live event, no matter what. No matter if you didn't need a collectible or if you need a collectible, like play the stack live event because the, um, you could get an elite stacked player, which I did pull in a pro pack. All right, an elite stacked Malik Jackson in a pro pack. There, you guys can check that out on my channel as well. But make sure you guys complete these stacked players as they do go for a lot on the auction house. Now. Let's go to the sets. Let's run down each uh, sets to see what we could do. Obviously, Tom Brady. I'm pretty sure everyone has done that. Make sure you're always doing the wheel of whatever. All right, the whatever. Like when when the rundown is over, when the time is over, make sure you do it right away because you want the cooldown to reset as fast as you can, so you can get these packs as fast as you want. Uh, as you guys can see, I have 23 hours left on these packs, so just the day after today. I will be able to get the wheel of quicks on the wheel of showdown make sure you keep on doing this especially this cash one this cash one could really help you uh, I know it's every 10 days but you know what it's really worth it at, at the end of the day uh, quick sell packs I recommend the silver quick sells uh, the silver quick sells actually do pay up pretty well the max you can get is 25k but I've been getting a lot of 10k 5k 2k 1k which is really good if you tra trade in two silver players large quick sell though I highly do not recommend this 79 to 78 will go for a lot right now in the auction house so make sure you sell those and instead of instead of putting them in large quick sells and always make sure you're not putting in a punt returner kick returner a kicker or a punter into a large quick sells because that could ruin your day now legend shields legends these are all for more expensive uh sets you could make a cut uh, like around 50k off each set if you had a lot of money so if you do have a lot of money i recommend you completing some of these sets man that marshall falk man that looks nice i right? but showdown training items i recommend you do not do that i recommend you save up for the stack player or you could do the boss mac but obviously these showdown collectibles are really hard to come by uh, silver players to gold player isn't really a good one and bronze players to silver isn't really a good one I recommend selling each player individually um, bronze game plan makes you money silver play game plan makes you money gold game plan I'm not sure I've never done it before league game plan same thing league game plan exchange I probably wouldn't do that but this one is the most money set right here if you trade in five of those and you get a silver game plan silver game plans go for around 15k right now and each bronze one goes for around 2500 so you could make a lot of profit by trading it in for a silver collectible all right nfl collectible uh, nfl kickoff sets man these sets you you should be you should be able to do all of them all right it's fairly easy from the live events um it's very simple all right 24 7 uh these are actually i don't i don't really know a lot about these man if you guys have done these sets, man, let me know if they pay out for you. 
I personally haven't done any of them, so I don't really know. Showdown badges, pretty self-explanatory. Legend collectibles, all of this. Stats player, yep, yep. All of this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, silver coaches, um, I recommend you doing this because you actually want a gold coach. Now, gold coaches could go for a lot. I would rather have a gold coach on my team just because it actually helps a lot. Coaches actually really matter this year. Um, locker items, always do the live events for locker items because they give you a lot of XP. And the rest of this, man, it's just it's just really self-explanatory. League versus league, all this stuff, man. So there's a ton right here where you can make money on. Uh, this game plan one, I'm actually really close to. So I'm going to be opening that up soon. That might make me some coins as I might pull in the league game plan. Hey, you never know. But... If you guys enjoyed that video, man, make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you guys subscribe. Let me know some video ideas down below you guys want to see from Animal 18. And the goof is out. Peace.